Hey friends, welcome back to our channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Ashley and today is a very rainy day and I had no motivation at all to get up and do anything, but I knew that I needed to tackle a few areas in my house, so that's what I did. I got up and the first area that I started working with was the kids' linen closet. This is the before shot. I just wanted to get in there, take everything out, refold everything, get rid of a few items that we were no longer using and just reorganize it a little bit. So this is the after shot. Like I said, I refolded everything, I put everything back in a certain spot, I got rid of a few items, and it felt good to just get in there, reorganize it, and declutter it. Once I was done with that area, I went downstairs and I started underneath the kitchen sink. This is an area that has been driving me absolutely crazy the past few days. It's an area that's just been so cluttered and very unorganized, and this is an area that I use multiple times throughout the day. So I wanted to get in there, take everything out, just reorganize it, declutter a few items that I no longer needed anymore. Once I pulled everything out and I saw what I was working with, I went out to the garage and grabbed from a few bins and containers that I took out from our pantry when we did the pantry makeover. I'm so glad that I kept them because I was able to use them to reorganize underneath this kitchen sink. But I hope today's video gives you a little bit of motivation to get up and do something small around your house today. Also, if you would like to see what we purchased from Costco, then stay tuned to the very end. I'm saving a Costco haul at the very end of this video.
Once I was done reorganizing underneath the kitchen sink, I decided to go ahead and move on to the pantry and pull out all of our snack baskets and bins and restock them because they were getting very low. I wanted to restock them with all the items that I picked up from Costco the day before so that way the kids can see what items they can grab for if they're hungry and want a snack or if it's lunchtime and they're helping me make their lunch. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way so I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah I am on my way up I won't slow down yeah I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down So the next area in the house that I wanted to tackle was the laundry room. I just wanted to get in there, reorganize it, declutter it, as well as clean it. But before I started, I needed to go ahead and start a load of laundry. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the boys laundry in the washer, get it washing while I'm tackling this laundry room. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Feels like 
So now that I have cleaned the laundry room and I folded and put away all the towels, I'm going to go ahead and take the boys' clothes out of the washer and throw them into the dryer, and that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, and I hope I was able to give you a little bit of motivation to get up and do something small around your house today. If I was able to do that, then please let me know down in the comments. I love hearing when you guys get up and clean with me. It truly does make my day. If you liked what you've seen, then please consider hitting that red subscribe button to join our family here. We would love to have you on this journey with us. If you're already on this journey with us, we just want to say thank you so much. We truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. You all mean so much to us. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps our channel out. Please leave a comment down below. We love chatting and getting to know each and every one of you. Don't forget to stay tuned to the very end so you can see what we purchased from Costco. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And once again, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. Bye, friends. Hey, sweet friends. We just got back from Costco. Me, Jeremiah, and Ryder went. So I thought I would share a quick little haul with you guys and show you everything that we picked up. So I'm fixing to turn you around and I will show you all the things that we bought from Costco today. Okay, so this is a quick overview of everything that we purchased today. And then I might add in prices if I remember to show you guys um, how much we spent as well. But I'll start off right here. We got some chicken tenderloins. I got the bag frozen chicken. We usually buy chicken in bulk. I know I've said that before, but the place we got it from um, has just been really busy lately. And I have not had time to go pick it up from there. And plus their prices have went up really crazy lately so i think it's just cheaper for me to buy um, chicken in bulk from like costco or sam so we're going to try it out and i'm going to play with numbers and figure out what's best for our family but i'm starting today to figure that out so i bought some chicken tenderloins we've had these before i used to buy them all the time in the past so i'm excited to have them again then i bought hamburger or ground um ground beef i always call it hamburger meat but um ground beef and I bought, it's like a little over six pounds. So what I'm gonna do is just half it, divide it up in portions of how we're gonna use it. And this lasts us for a while because I don't do like six pounds per thing. I usually do a few, like one or two pounds and then the rest are like half pounds just because we do not use a lot of um, ground beef for uh, spaghetti and stuff we usually use a lot for like tacos or um, hamburgers so I make bigger bags for that and then the other I just divide up smaller and we can use this for a while so I picked up some ground beef then I also picked up some chicken breasts the boneless skinless chicken breast packs these right here like this one right here was $25 but at the register you took like $5 off the price so I ended up buying two of these and this should last us for a while because there's like six packs, if you guys can tell. So it's three and then three on the bottom. And usually there's at least two, sometimes three chicken breasts in both of these um, or in each pack. So this will last us for a while. So I went ahead and picked up two of those. And then I also picked up some beef franks. These right here are Nick's favorite hot dogs. He loves these. So every time I go to Costco, I always grab at least a pack. So I grabbed that. And then the last like meat item that we have is this rotisserie chicken. If you guys know, anytime I go to Costco, I always pick one of these up. We either eat it for uh, dinner that night or during school year. Sometimes I pick up two and we'll have it for dinner that night. And then the kids love taking it for lunch too. So quick, easy meal. I picked up Hawaiian rolls to go with that. And then I'll just make a few sides. Okay, so let's go back over here. These right here, I've been wanting to try these for a while and buy them from Costco, but I never did. And today they had them on samples and Jeremiah was with me. So he tried it and he loved it. So I ended up grabbing a sample as well. And they are really good. I just thought that it'd be quick and easy like lunch or snack for the boys right now. Madison will not eat these more than likely, but Ryder liked it as well. So quick, easy little snack, especially during the summer. So our lunch as well. So I picked that up for the boys and myself. Once again, Jeremiah was with me. Him and Jacob love body armor a whole lot. So he saw these right when we walked in. They were in the very front of the store. So I went ahead and grabbed a pack. We have seven strawberry bananas, seven orange mango, and six fruit punch. I know that the boys like strawberry banana and fruit punch. I do not know if they've ever tried the orange mango. More than likely they will like it. So we'll see. But I picked up those, a big case of water. And if you know, you know, if you've been around for a while, we love some cheese around here. So I picked up some of the Mexican style blended cheese. 
This right here lasts us for a good bit. There's two at backs. So we freeze one bag and that is awesome. It um, defrosts is really good and you can use it. It usually defrosts is really quick too. So I recommend if you like a lot of cheese and you have a Costco membership, just buy this. Like I said, you can freeze a bag and put one bag in your refrigerator to use now. I love this salsa, so I went ahead and grabbed it while I was there. I usually sometimes will forget to go down like certain aisles because Ryder's acting up. But today he was really good and Jeremiah was really good. So mm, I walked majority of all the aisles at Costco for the most part, especially like the food and snack aisles. So I picked up that because I saw it and I've been wanting it lately. Little bites for the kids. They love these. They go through them. I always regret not buying two boxes. But at the time when I'm at the store, I'm like, there's no way we'll go through two boxes. But yes, we would. This is not going to last this long at all. So that's okay. But I did pick them up. It's the chocolate chip muffins, by the way. Some Cheez-Its, because once again, Jeremiah was with me. And he's been asking for Cheez-Its lately like crazy. And normally, I would just buy like the smaller boxes from like Walmart or Kroger or Publix. But I ended up buying it in the bigger box today. It will last us for a while. Him, Ryder, and the other kids will eat it as well. I picked up a 54 bag of different variety chips because we go through chips like crazy right now during like baseball season. It's just something quick and easy to grab and place in the bag for the kids to have like snacks in between games or during games. So like I said, we go through chips like crazy and I wanted to grab those. This was another thing that we tried as a sample and Jeremiah really liked it and they are good. We've had them before. I just usually buy the smaller boxes. but. He, I don't think ever would try them and he tried them today because it was a sample and he said he really liked them and I think Jacob will like them as well. So I picked up those for us to have around the house. I've already done all that stuff. So I always, I also picked up some paper towels because we were um, very low on those actually almost completely out. So I grabbed those. We have a lot of toilet paper still. So I'll grab that next go around. And then we needed some dishwasher detergent so I picked that up as well because I used my last little bit last night before going to bed this right here there was like a coupon to get some money off so normally I don't buy this stuff but I wanted to go ahead and buy it because I do like using it and with it being um, cheaper today I was like sure why not so I got some of the jet dry I also picked up these because they were also um, like on sale there was like a coupon for those as well so I picked up these for the toilets and I thought we'll see if we like them. I think I've had them before. I can't fully remember if I've ever used this kind, but I thought why not? Let's try them out and see how we like them in our toilets. And then Lysol laundry sanitizer. I was completely out of this and this is a huge um, bottle. It's 150 ounces and I'm super excited. So now I have that and I will probably pour it in the smaller bottle that I have and then just use that one and keep this in our closet with all of our other cleaning items, but we'll see. But this is everything. I will add prices and tell you the total at the very end. I cannot remember off the top of my head, but I think it was like $237 maybe. But like I said, don't quote me on that and I will add that all in on the video as well. Every time we touch our